The problem with conflict resolution, you can have the same goal. But if you don't admit where the conflict started, sometimes we never get to the common goal of conflict resolution and peace because we can't get beyond who is the culprit. And what I love about Jonah is Jonah admits his role in the saga. One of the most difficult things for us to do is admit when we are wrong. And, and let me share something with you. And in conflict resolution, it's okay to take the blame, even if you don't feel you're at fault. See, sometimes we're going back and forth about who's right or who's wrong. And while you're trying to figure out who's right and who's wrong, stuff is wild all around you. And you might end up, and here's the problem, while you're still taking blame and, and playing pity pat with who's going to take the blame, everything is wild around you and the ship might sink because somebody ain't the bigger man or bigger woman to say, how do we get ourselves out of this mess? What good is it if you win that battle? But you lose the war. Trying to argue and fight over who was right and who was wrong. Sometimes you got to take the blame and say, it was me. I take total responsibility. And sometimes when you, when you agree with God, God has a way. Now here's the problem I got with Jonah. Jonah says, throw me overboard. Get rid of me and you'll get rid of the storm. I, I like it from one perspective. Jonah said, I don't want y'all to die on behalf of me. So if I got to fall on the sword to save y'all, on one aspect it shows Jonah being sacrificial. Because he realizes if he's thrown overboard, he's going to die. I don't want y'all dying as a result of my wrong. That kind of gives me the idea of integrity. That Jonah realizes that he's at fault, and I would rather die than to let the whole ship go down. Let me jump overboard. Throw me overboard so y'all could be saved. That says integrity. But it also said that Jonah was not willing to even do what God said do. Because maybe he could have just said, turn the ship around and go toward Nineveh. Just turn the ship around and change the direction. I believe the storm will stop. Jonah knew that the storm was coming because he's going south rather than north. All they had to do was turn the ship around. Y'all ain't feeling me here. here. Here's the point I'm trying to make. Sometimes folk would rather die in their mess than simply to obey God. 